Well, looks like I have the advantage now. I beat you to the punch, Teresa. Ethan has a son now. Our son. Why'd you come back, Gwen? You weren't supposed to be able to get pregnant. You were barren. Yeah, thanks to you. Okay, don't go there. <laughs> so how's this possible? One, two, three, presto, and a baby appears? And a son, no less? Now, we both know how much Ethan always wanted to have a son. Teresa, I don't know. It was a miracle. You know the doctors can't explain it, but suddenly I was pregnant. Were you? And what's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know, Gwen, every doctor, every specialist that you went to so that you couldn't get pregnant, and suddenly you show up with this beautiful little boy. So who does he belong to? Because I don't believe for one second that that's your child with Ethan. God, you are so predictable. I mean, when things don't go your way, you immediately think someone's plotting against you. Because you usually are, Gwen. So you and your mother, you came up with another way to come between Ethan and me. And you're using an innocent baby to do it. So, let me guess. You rented the baby. Now, you probably stole it, didn't you? I'm gonna get those DNA tests performed. God, it is such a shame you never went to college. You know, because one of the benefits of higher education is learning to think ahead. I knew you would accuse me of some sort of nonsense like this, so I came prepared. Here. These are the DNA test results on my son. And you can compare them to anything you can find on Ethan. But you'll find they're a perfect match. There's no doubt that Ethan is the father of my son.